day, an assistance center opened up in Pajaro to help people and businesses impacted by last year's flooding disaster. It's in Pajaro Park. Action News 8 reporter Leslie Duarte is live there right now. Leslie. Dan Aaron, uh, just a moment ago, uh, people left the center, but all day it's been busy. Monterey County officials, county officials of Monterey tell me the need is great. Today they helped over 50 people and put another 100 people on a waiting list that they will help within the next few days. There's an hour left and there's still people inside that tent helping Pajaro residents. I feel like we got neglected a lot. Elia Sosa is one of the many Pajaro residents displaced by the Pajaro floods last year. We were really affected by it. We had a, we couldn't move back to our house for like almost seven months. So we lived in a motel room because my parents are elderly, so I had to take care of them out of a motel room. Today, Elia, along with other Pajaro flood victims, are breathing a sigh of relief as financial help arrives. On Wednesday, the county of Monterey opened the Pajaro Disaster Assistance Center to aid people in the businesses that were impacted by last year's levee breach. We're just trying to make it as easy and uh, as, as we can. And we understand that it doesn't matter how much money we're able to distribute. It's never going to compensate for all the psychological stress and everything that they've gone through. But we're trying to do our part. The county will distribute nearly $10 million in aid to cover unmet needs. The money is from the $20 million the Monterey County Board of Supervisors received from the state. The case managers will be working with each family to determine what the need is and how we can um, assist them with that financial part. Individual assistance will happen in two parts. First aid will be distributed to anyone evacuated. The second part will help households that could get up to $15,000 businesses can also get support. We have two phases. Phase one, they can receive up to $85,000 for reimbursement of things that they have already uh, purchased and um, recovered. And so that's if they have a storefront business or if they operate from home, they have a maximum of $5,000. And we also have phase two where um, we are doing what is called beautification, so it's an additional $15,000 per business. People applying must prove that they were living or operating in a business in Pajaro at the time of the flood. Services will be available in multiple languages and proof of immigration status is not required. The center will be open until 7 p.m. tonight and it will stay open until April 27. Times vary, uh, but Monterey County officials tell me they will be here ready to help people when they need them. Appointments are not required uh, for individual assistance, but businesses should schedule an appointment. Live in Pajaro, Leslie Duarte, KSPW Action News 8. Leslie, thank you.